hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity and today we are crocheting this beautiful top with ruffles kindly subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment on my videos this is how the top looks in a closer view and we'll start working with the bra cups then do the ruffles so you need to have your bust measurements and this is how the back looks the ruffles go all the way to the back and i'm using milk cotton yarn this is uh, milk cotton yarn it's 50 grams i'm using a 3.0 mm hook to crochet you'll need a pair of scissors stitch markers and a darning needle and to start we will start by bra cups take your under bust to nipple measurements once you have that in check you'll start by doing a slip knot that's how i do my slip knot then you chain as long as your under bust to nipple measurement is i'm chaining 15 chains that's how my measurement from my under bust to nipple is so this top is for all sizes and it's measurement best so i'm just chaining 15 as from now then once you have your 15 we will do single crochets across all the 15 chains that you have or any other chains that you have you're doing single crochets across all the chains that you have I am done with my single crochet and on the 15th we'll do an increase we'll put three single crochets in one stitch so that is my second single crochet and on your second single crochet you'll put a stitch marker on the second single crochet okay and remember we are putting three single crochets once you've put a stitch marker there go ahead and put the last single crochet like that remember we are making the bra cup so you have to do an increase to have the tip of the bra cup once you're done with your increase you'll chain one and you continue doing the normal single crochets okay just chain one and continue doing normal single crochets until when you get to the top and i'll meet you at the top of your work okay We are at the top and remember here there is no increase, only increasing on one side of the bra cup. Once you get here, chain one and then turn your work and continue with single crochets. And please remember we are only doing increases on one side. That is where we have put our stitch markers. Do single crochets and I'll meet you once you get to the stitch marker. We are at the end and remove your stitch marker. And remember we are doing, remember we are doing three single crochets in one space. That was the first single crochet the second single crochet and please remember to return your stitch marker at the second single crochet then go ahead and do the last single crochet in the same space once you're done just go on the other side and do the normal single crochets and i will meet you at the end of your work I am at the end chain one turn your work and we're doing a row of single crochets until we get to the stitch marker please remember when you get to the stitch marker 
you remove your stitch marker do three single crochets and always remember to put back your stitch marker in the second stitch marker okay we are doing three so always put in the second stitch marker so we are going to work like this until the bra cap perfectly fits your boobs and then i will meet you once you're done this is the pattern and you're working like this until these bra caps fit your boobs perfectly then i will meet you there so that we start working with the ruffles and the neck bands Okay, I went ahead and did a second bra cup. They're all the same in size. My bra cups are 4.3 inches. That is the width. And now we want to join the two bra cups together. So I just finished up on this bra cup. And once I go to the tip here, we want to join this other tip. We're joining the two tips together. Just take your hook and make sure before you join they are facing the same directions the bra cup should face the same direction and we're joining at the stitch marker so just put your hook at the stitch marker like that then you'll remove this, this, this stitch marker and you are joining like this go ahead in that last stitch marker there and go inside here and remove this second stitch marker and join the two together like that using a single crochet okay that's how we join the two bra cups together then go ahead and now do a row of single crochet round this second bra cup and I'll meet you at the end. Remember, we are doing single crochet all around these two bra cups. So you need to put your stitch marker here because that's where you'll know it's the first row of single crochets, okay? We are doing single crochet all around here all the way round like here all the way up to here okay so that's how long you're going to work with a single crochets i am done and i'm at this first edge here so i want to show you how to make the corners okay at the corner you put two single crochets in one stitch okay that's how you make the perfect corner once you have two single crochets in one stitch you'll just continue with the normal single crochet until you get to the other corner as you can see the corner is now straight so do the same thing to this corner and then i will meet you once we are now fully done and we add the stitch marker as you can see the corners are well and go ahead and do single crochets inside where we joined remember where we joined these two bra cups we'll go in there and make a single crochet like this 
we're going in here like this and make a single crochet and then we are making single crochets all round until you get to the stitch marker and I'll meet you once you are done. We are at the stitch marker and this is where we started the row of single crochet before we went ahead and joined. Remove your stitch marker and now we are working on the neck bands. You're going to put your last single crochet there and I am chaining uh, now for the neck bands. For the neck bands I did a hundred chains. I wanted longer um, neck bands you can do a hundred or more than a hundred a hundred is the average and this is just normal chains once you're done with your hundred chains we are coming back the hundred down the a hundred chains using single crochets just to make the waist the sorry the neck band thicker we're doing single crochets across all the a hundred chains and I'll meet you once you are done. I am done and I'm here where we started working with the waistband, sorry the neck band <laughs> and at the end here just join inside here using a single crochet like that okay and now we are going to go all round like this under here and once you get to this point we will do another neck band okay just work a row of single crochet all round and and once you get to the other side of the bra cup we are going to make another neck band i am on this other side and we will do the same thing which is chaining a hundred We'll chain 100 chains and then come down the 100 chains using single crochets okay so I will meet you once you're done with the 100 chains and then went through the 100 chains using single crochets and I am done once you're done you're going to do single crochets all round until this point where we started from okay and i'll meet you once we are there okay i'm done i did single crochets all round until here this is where i remember we started the row of single crochets once you get here you'll cut off your yarn and fasten off your work make sure it's tight enough so it doesn't run and now we want to work on the ruffles okay all these yarns that are lying around you will sew them in using a darning needle but as per now your work should look like this we want to work on the ruffles and the ruffles are worked on the lower side of your outfit if you want a high coverage you'll do longer ruffles meaning you'll have longer chains as for me my ruffles cover the whole of my back and i chain 25 if you want less coverage chain 10. so i'm chaining 25 chains this is for the whole back coverage okay if you want some space left at the back you can chain 10 or 15. 
but for my outfit i chained 25 once you have your 25 chains we are going to join it at this point here we're joining it at the lower side of our bra cups this is where we want to join the 25 chains that we just did This is how we are joining, like that. And then once it's joined, we'll go ahead and do a row of single crochets at the lower part of your gamut. So we're just, this is how it looks, these are 25 chains. And we will work single crochets at the lower side of our garment like this until once we get here we will chain another 25 okay so i am done and i chained another 25 on this side and this is how my work looks and now let's start working on the ruffles and to work on the ruffles we are doing three double crochets in each stitch okay in each chain that we did we are doing three double crochets in each stitch from this end all the way to the other to the other end we are doing three double crochets in each stitch and i'll meet you once you are done with that please remember to start a row of double crochet skip the first three stitches that we made so on top of 25 make three more stitches then you'll skip those three stitches and on the fourth stitch that's where we will start by making three double crochets in one stitch okay so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this row done with draw one of the ruffles and this is how your work should look and from now on we will work just a single double crochet in each stitch that we made no more increases made we're just doing single one double crochet and to begin a new row always chain two turn your work yarn over and we're just doing a row of double crochets we're doing normal double crochets go in each stitch and do a normal double crochet and we'll work like this until you're comfortable enough with the length of your ruffles and then you'll be good to go so this is how we make this beautiful cute top and i will show you how i put the bands at the back then we will be done and please remember you can make these ruffles as long as you wish or shorter just depends on your preference i went ahead and did uh so many rows i didn't count but i did so many rows of the uh double crochets and this is how my work looks and the back looks like this when we flip this it will go all the way to the back and now we need to make um the bands for the back and to make the bands for the back i chained a hundred 
these are two bands a hundred each a hundred chains each and we'll just go here at the top here and basically enter this band like that in a very basic way and go to this other side at the top too and enter the second band like that but make sure they are on the same size side sorry and that's how we enter the band this band will help our top to have a perfect fitting and we're going to go at the lower side here and put the second band i'm really hoping you enjoy this tutorial it's quite simple i made this top in maximum um, maybe four hours i think yeah so it's just a one day top it's a very very easy to go tutorial and i'm hoping you enjoy this tutorial please i really love reading your comments i love to know what you think about this beautiful top comment on this video give this video a like i'm going to show you how the back looks when i wear this top and again remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll meet you in the next tutorial i'm hoping you enjoy this take care of yourselves and your loved ones and i love you so so much goodbye